Hi, this is Misty Johnson from the Zanesville Museum of Art and welcome back to another material exploration video. Today we're going to be talking about texture and texture is the surface characteristics of the objects around us. So when you look at something, is it rough? Is it smooth? Does it have ridges? Those kinds of things are describing the texture of an object. And in today's activity, we're going to be using the actual texture of the objects around us and we're going to be capturing them in our artwork. And to do that, it's a really simple technique. You may have done it before. They're called rubbings. So um, if you saw one of my earlier video, we, we made some leaf rubbings with crayons. Um, so today we're going to be doing a bunch of different objects and really exploring texture around us. So all you need is some paper, a drawing material. Um, today I'm going to be using soft pastels, so they're the chalkier ones, but you can use crayon if that's what you have at your house, and even charcoal, that would be a lot of fun. So um, get your paper, drawing material, and then you go find some textures. So um, I found some bubble wrap that I thought would be fun because it has all these nice bubbles creating this really cool texture. So all you do is you take your paper, you lay it on top of your texture, and you choose a color, and you use the side of the material, and then just gently rub it across your paper. And that's why they're called rubbings. And see how all those little bubbles from that bubble wrap is creating a really cool texture on my paper. And so it is as simple as that. So what I thought would be fun is if you went on a texture scavenger hunt in your house. So walk around with your paper and your crayon or your, or your pastels and anywhere you see a really cool texture, stop, put your paper on it and do that quick rubbing. And so I'll show you a few of the ones that I found on my scavenger hunt. So I actually went outside. So outside, I found some really cool bricks on the side of my house. So that's what this one is. And so you can see the actual like texture of the bricks coming through, but then you can also see the lines where it picked up the, um, like the mortar in between the bricks. So I not only captured the texture of the bricks, but like the pattern on the side of the house as well. Um, another one, that I found was right here in my kitchen. And I really loved how this one turned out. This is the tile backsplash that's behind my sink and countertops in my kitchen. And just look at all those cool little ridges that this, this rubbing of that texture picked up. So yeah, I really liked how that one came out. And your objects do not necessarily have to be flat. You can find cool textures on on um, three-dimensional objects. So this one, the shape might give it away, but this is actually the bottom of a shoe. Shoes have fantastic textures on the bottom and they're all so different. So check out the bottom of your shoe next time you're putting them on. Um, and then another one, this is like a kind of a basket weave pattern that is on some woodwork in my kitchen. So wood's another thing that's a lot of times has really cool textures. So um, just look around your house, look around your backyard, find some really fun textures and make some rubbings. And we would love to see those. So if you um, could take pictures and put them up on social media and use the hashtag MyZMAArt, we would love to see those. And if you want to learn more about texture, we have some other great programs this week on the uh, Zanesville Museum of Art website. Check those out and they're a lot of fun as well. So thank you so much for joining me and have a great day.